All right, welcome everyone. This is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. I did a video on the T-Mobile G5 AR, which is this new gateway and its speed and performance as well as uh, how to take it apart, add pigtails so that you can connect an external antenna because of the big downside to this gateway versus the old G4 AR that looks almost exactly like it is this one does not have the external antenna ports on the bottom. Uh, but that didn't stop me or Waveform or other people from trying to figure out how to do it. So thanks to the community that we have at T-Mobile um, uh, customers, we have figured out how to add these antenna uh, pigtails and connect it. And now what everyone's been asking for is, Nate, go test the speed and we want to know how much faster it is. And one of the big questions is, do I really need eight leads or can I get away with a single 4x4 four four, uh, like Quad Pro? That I really do strongly recommend from Waveform. So that's what I'm going to test here. I'm going to test it both with 8x8, test it with a 4x4, and I'm going to compare it to the G4 AR with and without uh, an external antenna so we get a good comparison. And full disclosure, I'm probably doing the external antennas a bit of a disservice. Waveform hasn't complained to me, but I'm basically testing the gateways right up in the same location as where I'm putting the antennas because I have a third floor loft that's finished space. And then literally on the other side of that wall, I have antenna, uh, sorry, I have an attic space where it is an antenna space. Actually, I got like 10 antennas in there, but I put all my antennas in the attic and I'm not getting the full benefit of getting an antenna in a vastly different location than when your gateway is. Cause really if your gateway is inside first floor and you're able to get an antenna right outside or up on the roof line, that is a huge uh, gain just in location. Uh, so I'm not doing that. So just know that your performance could be better and it could even be worse depending on how you place your antenna, how you aim it and what your signals are like. All right. And then as always, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button right down below in YouTube. And then also consider subscribing to my channel uh, to help it grow and for you to see more of the content. But before we take any more time, let's go back upstairs and get some speed testing done so you know what the answer is. All right, so I'm up here in my third floor loft now. This is where I have my main internet router. And I have three gateways here. You can see one from AT&T, one from Verizon, and I have a T-Mobile one here. This is the G4 AR. This one is hooked up to a external antenna. You see those black cables? Those are going to a old waveform legacy 4x4 panel, which is basically a quad pro, more or less. And then, um, so I'll show that here in the attic space out here. All right, so this cable here, the black cable, one of them at least, is what goes to the waveform antenna in here in this attic space. And so you can see, obviously the lighting's not the best, but we have the old legacy antenna up here. And then what I did is I put the Quad Pro setup here on um, a longer post. This is actually the post from their Dual Plus Duo. Um, and so I had them pointed the same direction and lined them up and then they each have their own set of four cables those four cables go in here to the um, attic space or to the third floor loft and um, i'm going to test the g5 ar with that now all right just for ease of getting them out of this door i'm just using uh, their little window entry cables it's nice and easy it goes underneath that rubber uh, seal and goes into here and then if i wake this guy up you can see it shows my connection there is very good it automatically is using those because it doesn't have the option like the G4AR to switch from internal to external antenna. All right, so this is the Hint Control app. This is a third-party app that lets you get a little more details than the T-Mobile T-Live app. So I'm connected to the G4AR up there. I just type in the administrative password for the unit. And then here I can get the information and I can see that I'm on 5G SA. So 5G standalone with no LT connected. And then I can see my main primary band is N41. But what this doesn't tell you is how many bands you're connected to. Because it can connect to several bands and aggregate those speeds together. Um, and so I know I am on this one. But here I can see, you know, a couple things. One, that external antenna is used. And it's the 80 megabit, uh, or sorry, 80 megahertz bandwidth that's in there. And then I can see uh, my stats there. So that's just good to kind of know. And then I can go in here to the speed test. And I'm going to run a speed test. Again, this is on the G4 AR. And it's on the external antenna, which is the waveform 4x4 panel out there in the attic. 
This is not um, a perfect test because the antenna is in the attic. It's not fully outdoors, but um, that's a straight up comparison to the G5AR that's going to also have the uh, antennas in there. All right, so my speeds always vary, um, but right now they're not the best that I've ever had by any means. But the 300 down is pretty good and then, you know, reasonable uh, upload uh, speed in there as well. So that's not bad performance. It's pretty typical uh, middle of the day here. But one thing you can see here is speedtest.net gives you those little green dots underneath uh, those different areas. The left one is web browsing, then you have gaming, then you have um, streaming videos, and then you have video conferencing. And that's measuring things like jitter and your loaded ping or your latency um, to tell you how good of a performance. And this one shows you that you're going to have very poor gaming performance uh, because of the latency, but you'll be fine for web browsing, okay for uh, video streaming, and then um, I guess okay for the, um, the WebEx or web conferencing as well as what it shows here. So let's switch our Wi-Fi over to the G5AR and do the same thing for it. All right, so now I'm just logging in the Hint app to the G5AR right here. The first thing I see is that I'm still on N41 5G as the main band, but I don't get as much information here. I don't get my megahertz, but I know I'm connected um, to at least the same. My RSRP is slightly better actually on this one. And let's see what uh, type of speed we get on the G5AR. So we'll test this guy again. So certainly a nice improvement. I've tested this several times now. I've got over 600 before, but you know certainly it's significantly faster. If it's not double as fast, it's pretty dang close to it. And my upload is being uh, about the same uh, amongst them. Um, but that download is very impressive. I think it's because this guy is able to aggregate more bands. You can't see that in the Hint Control app. But the other big thing is, this is probably actually a bigger fact to mention to you, is the um, ping and the loaded ping seems to have a lot better performance on the G5AR. You can see that the green underneath these dots now are, um, you know, four to five dots instead of, uh, I think gaming had two dots before and uh, video conferencing only had three. So this gateway, especially with waveform quad pros out there, really improves some of those other performances which aren't directly speed related, but they're more latency and ping and performance related. So overall, this G5AR is certainly better it kind of sucks that it needs um, the 8x8, eight eight, um, but it does also help it a lot. This is some impressive performance here uh, out of this gateway with, with the antenna. So you got to go for two 4x4 four four antennas, but then you um, you reap the rewards by doing it. So Okay, so it's been a couple weeks I've been testing it. I'm just going to show you another test here. This is now on the G4AR, and we're going to retest it. It's uh, 10 o'clock at night, so... Speeds always varies. I don't know what it's going to be. This is my first time running it uh, today on G4AR. This is with the 4x4 MIMO panel, uh, so the Quad Pro setup on it. So right now, looks like we're going to be about 300 down. And there we go, about 30.7 up. I'm going to change it to the internal just to give you another reference point. G4AR. So let's run its speed test. You can see the ping got a little bit slower, went from 15 to 19. And then here our download speed is about 200, so about two thirds of what we got before. And then our upload looks like it's, this is where I really struggle. And so this is because the tower is better at sending you the signal than your gateway is at sending it the signal. So that upload gets hurt quicker than your download does. And that's where an antenna I've seen over and over again. So now this is what, almost four times faster on upload with just a single quad pro on that G4AR. So let's hop on to this uh, G5AR. Now the big thing with this is it has eight ports, but uh, obviously some of you guys want to know, can I just use one antenna? So what I have set up here right now is just one four by four antenna. And the labels here, are what zero through seven and so i have it just hooked up to the last four which is five six seven so let me make sure i have them in the right order where i have um five and six uh swap okay so for this one i have 
um, on the antenna, which is labeled one, two, three, four, I have it hooked up to four, six, five, seven. So the five and six are swapped from each other. It says I have very good connection. So four out of five bars. All right, so now I'm connected to it on Wi-Fi. I can check the Hint Control Lab. Let's see if I'm still, you know, I've got the right password. Um, so let's stay connected. But so obviously the tablet thinks there's something up with that. So here we can see it's on N41, G5AR. Um, all that looks okay. Signal to noise is actually good. 25, you know, anything above 20, I would give it a thumbs up. Uh, so it doesn't look that bad here on the metrics uh, side. So let's hop on to a speed test and see what happens on the G5AR with just a four x four antenna. Okay, it does not work. I've tried this many, many times. There was a single four x four on the last four antennas on there. It does not work. Let me try the, the first four. So the zero through three ports. Since I didn't have to disconnect anything, I just went ahead and added the other four. So now I'm back to an eight by eight baseline. I have not tested this on an eight by eight. Um, and so let's just get this guy to refresh here. And I mean, in some ways, the metrics got slightly worse, signal to noise, but it doesn't tell you much. I'm still on N41. Um, so let's just go back to the speed test and try to see if it will retest this time. All right, so it took it a second to kind of get its connection. So I was probably trying to, to figure it out. So I might actually restart it. Sometimes I found that it like locks onto the bands when you ask for data. So now it went quicker there of loading. So we can um, see what we get on this guy. Our baseline is, uh, you know, 200 for the stock G4AR, 300 down with the 4x4. So again, here we're pretty dang close to double the speed, G4AR to the G5AR. This is with an 8x8, but let's see what we get actually with um, a uh, 4x4 on here. So this is what's interesting is the G5AR seems to be a little bit worse on upload because remember I think I got 30 give or take on the G4AR. This was not terrible, but um, it's not as big of an improvement over the uh, the download, but that ping is a nice um, uh, a number there for loaded ping, G5AR is better. So I'll do one more test just to kind of confirm where we're at since I just messed with its antennas and uh, we'll see what we get. All right, so let me take off these last four. So we'll just run the first four antenna ports, at least the way the waveform labels them coming off the G5AR. And we'll see what this gives us here. So let's see what it tells us. It still says very good. So I don't think this ever changed. And that's why I always tell people the bars really don't matter that much. Uh, it's not that helpful, really. Um, but so let's do this speed test here and see what we get. All right, so not bad for download 416. So funny enough, that's kind of right in between the G4 AR with 4x4 and the G5 AR with 8x8. And it is faster than the G4 AR with a 4x4. So even if, um, and it's basically the same uh, upload as the 8x8. So really, um, this isn't that bad. All right, so there we go. Slightly better on that second run, um, but uh, still kind of the same story there that it does work with a 4x4. You're going to get better performance with an 8x8, uh, but will it work with a 4x4? Yes, just make sure you hook it up to the correct ports um, and it can still work. Okay, so the testing is always fun. And I'm always surprised. I literally do a lot of the stuff live on the camera. My first time testing it is, is on the camera. So you see my genuine reaction when I come up with different ways to test it. That said, as I've been down here, I could think of even more tests I could do to compare and contrast um, the different either antenna hookups or, you know, do I take the pigtails back off and do a baseline? So there's lots of things I could do, but I try to give a um, good understanding for you guys to look at it and see yourself and add some of your own judgment for what you think the difference is and if that performance gain is going to be worth it for you. So hopefully it was helpful. If you have questions, do put them down in the comments below inside YouTube. I do read the comments. I do try to answer them. And then if you have any other suggestions for 
uh, new products uh, for me to test or new videos to do um, add those as well and then of course if you have some inside knowledge or you know some tips or tricks or you hear some rumors or something feel free to send it to me in a comment or in an email even uh, that works as well so uh, thanks for watching we'll catch you next time thanks as always if you want to see more videos right now there should be four little boxes right around my face that allow you to click and then you can watch some more of my content.